Bad news, everybody. Britain has been added in the latest patch. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, my inner demons were trying to make their way out of my throat. Welcome to a new mod, which will be our very last mod before we get back to Hoi 4A to Z, which is Pax B Britannica. Yeah! Have you been looking for a mod that's absolutely beaming with more What If America Loves the Revolutionary? Well, you got one. Well, uh, someone put Churchill in charge of Bengal. That's not gonna go too well. Much like the other What If America Lost the Revolutionary War, uh, the world is a little bit messy. Apparently, Britain just forgot to do any colonizing. Uh, there was a great war. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say probably involving the Holy Order of Spain and the Republic of France given their current situation. And there's the culprit behind it all. It's Imperial Britain. And at least now that I can zoom into the sea and it's not pitch black. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm on recruit difficulty, by the way, every time I go back versions to the beginning of Hoi 4, which I did on my stream recently, uh, feel free to check out my stream. I am trying to stream more. Put up the link here, Braun. Bam. And then you can go watch me. Stream Hoi 4. Uh, we're currently going through like every uh, Hoi 4 DLC and patch in order. So we started off in Hoi 4 1.0 and then uh, we're gonna move on to the, the first DLC. It's a whale of a time. Uh, but yeah, go follow my Twitch link down below. I'll try and stream whenever this video goes up. <laughs> but yes, we won't be playing on the uh, Alex the Rambler difficulty today. <laughs> but the country I will be playing is not Britain because we actually did those guys in the past mod and Germany apparently also has content. I can't wait to click on this and it's just like two focuses so we'll see. I haven't tried this out. I don't know what I'm in for but hopefully it's chaos. Oh my Jeebus, would you look at that? It's a whole bunch of lore. Big shout out to my boy Bernie Sanders. Helped out a lot with this mod I hear. Alright, features. Unite Europa 1 banner. Manage the state federation. Can you two fight in exile? Exile? Excuse me? Maintain Germany's fast empire. Become a continental Euro and hegemon. Set Germany on a path of economic greatness. Oh yes, Angela Merkel. Yes, I would love to disable the super event audio thank you very much dmca all right so we're gonna have to hold this empire quote unquote together uh, which it looks like we'll be doing by offering concessions and look at that we do have quite a bit of a focus tree to go through and immediately i see uh when rommel oh my god what is all of this absolute mess. <laughs> oh, did I forget to mention we're also apparently in some sort of technological steampunk renaissance and we have mechs. I feel like I should have mentioned this. Oh, you, you can't have a tab called terror weapons and not expect me to do a bit of it, eh? Ah, yes, I see with our borders here we have learned from colonizing from the Vic 2 school of colonization. Oh, I have no idea which path this is going to all be taking me down, so I will be winging it for the most part, but if I have any option to call Goebbels hysteric, I'm going to do it. Uh-oh. Uh, I see things are already getting a little bit hectic in the world. So we can go ahead and do our first focus, the abdication crisis. Uh, things aren't pretty hibbity fresh in Germany right now. Um, might need a new government. A great Balkan war. Do we really need a super event for this? It's like every other day, right? Alright, so we can either go left, middle, or right. And I really like this focus over here with the uh, little German man with his axe. So we're going for little German man with his axe and uh, getting rid of Elizabeth. Oh, uh, who's Elizabeth? Um whoever this is. There you go, we've returned to the good old fashioned tradition of our leaders having mustaches and not boobies. That's right. Are you impressed by my political power growth? <laughs> it's quite impressive. Looks like we've got a uh, wee bit of unrest happening around the country. <laughs> Could you guys not get on, please? Realized there was a, a civil war going on in Italy, so I uh, thought I'd harvest myself some free experience. Uh, or apparently just 
end it in like two seconds. German efficiency strikes again. Mom, can we have United States? We have United States at home. The United States at home. Please do not steal my meme. Time, I think I'm done with these decisions. A new one pops up for us to do. They're never ending. Who the hell's got the political power for all this crap? And every five minutes, yeah, he's just got this crap popping up to causing more instability. You know what? We're just gonna roll the instability. Why not? Danish just shot at protesters I paid in Holstein. That's not very cool, Denmark. First, though, we're sending a ultimatum to Yugoslavia for them to stop being so huge. Uh, but first, another event for me to either gain or lose uh, some political power and some arrest. How fun! Yugoslavian said no, so let's go to war. I will take anything <laughs> but more decision clicking. Oh my god, the Yugoslavians are using cloaking technology to stop me seeing their units. Can't tell if cloaking technology or I've just actually managed to kill them all. Wow. Was that a forced peace deal? Wow. Well, I guess I left my mark. Out oh, there you go. Good old Danish tradition of surrendering has kicked in and we now own Holstein. No, friends, I don't take too kindly to you expanding on my border. Why do you still exist? Where is the nuke Prussia button? Oh, Mexican wartime. Uh, not really too sure what this actually means, but should I get involved, perchance? Uh, I'll go help Texas out, or as it's known, Tejas. Oh, well, it didn't even matter, apparently. <laughs> I, I mean, I was I was pushing the Mexicans back, but what a fun, fun scripted piece deal there. Wow, epic win. Well, I guess I still get the guaranteed oil rights in West Texas from Mexico. Hopefully, they say yes. <laughs> oh, France declares their claims on the Dutch? Uh, I don't think so. You shan't be putting your garlicky fingers anywhere near my clog-wearing friends. I'm even ready for war, by the way. I've been too busy <laughs> clicking decisions. Oh my god. They actually did it. Joke's on you, I've got my duopod mechanized divisions ready to launch. <laughs> There they are! Ah! <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> are you gonna join me, UK? You are. Okay. Let's go. I have a friend. <laughs> they got the Prussians. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the two-front offensive that quickly, okay? In fact, I wasn't really expecting any war that quickly. I'd been sitting around doing nothing, not even building any troops. So that's kind of my bad. Plan's pretty simple. Uh, as you can see, army's not looking fresh at all, but neither is the French one. They've overstretched. They're not ready for the German counterattack. We zoom in, we destroy the French, then we head east. Sound familiar? It's World War I. All right, we've made the breakthrough. We're going straight for Paris. Well, we actually did just straight up walk into Paris there. Okay, keep going! <laughs> he, he didn't last too long. Wait a sec, can we, can we just go ahead and blow this up? Where's the blow up button? Perfect. <laughs> right, they never expected my stupid walking robot. There we go, we pocketed a bit of the French there, and it looks like the British ships are going to pick them up in the sea, and now we just need to go ahead and finish them off in France. Like, we bit of a messy war, but you're, we're, we're, we're pulling it back. Hello, the British have dealt with Spain, who I didn't even realize I was at war with, and uh, that's one enemy down. Oh, thank you, Japan. I completely forgot you were even in this game. Good news, everybody. Economic health has improved with the war. Ah, I'm spamming out infantry that's green, but a better way to teach you how to do war than to get shot at. Just a wild Frenchman walking through my land right now. That's fun, another scripted peace deal. Great. I mean, I could, uh, could have used those French factories, but I guess not, eh? Here you go. Now we're talking Germans in warfare. Time for some stimulant manufacturing. Okay, so we're gonna go counterattack finally and try and cut them off from here, and then, uh, well, head east, which it looks like my allies are already doing, questionably. Oh yeah, it has all gone to the plan. Mmm, you smell that? We've reached the... Baltic. What a refreshing smell. Alright, time to liberate the Russians from their own bad idea of invading me in the first place. There we go. Now we've just essentially hopped into a vanilla game. But this time we actually have a ton of oil because we made friends with the Mexicans who are giving me so much oil. You know, 
I don't think the Russians even have. They have 56 divisions. How have you even managed to get 1.3 million casualties? There are like loads of tech and interesting new stuff to try out, um, like the augments and you get like little power armor suits, but uh, I really don't need to because the AI is so clapped. Well, in comparison here, look, 54 divisions their side, 804 on our side, and uh, I, I don't even have the most. All of the British Commonwealths, like, <laughs> there's a lot of divisions. Uh, the UK has got 157, America has got 122, India 44, Pearl River Dominion, where's that? No idea, they got 25 divisions. Yes, a never screw peace deal excellent god king and country for all ah yes i see you know your border gore well in my problem now right this is this is someone else's problem i don't have to deal with this i only just realized there's a big chunk of libya missing but we are not done just yet we have a few more folks to do and then we're free dream of a greater europe so after all that war, after one little focus, <laughs> I will finally gain some land. Uh, I say some land, just annexed half of Europe really. Still need to worry about giving concessions <laughs> up though to my unruly populace. There you go, Europe has arisen and we have run out of stuff to do. So yeah, that wasn't uh, that bad. It was a little chaotic at times. It definitely needs some ironing out in my opinion. But hey, uh, nonetheless, it was a pretty fun game towards the end. Although, uh, yeah, once I've said, the AI <laughs> didn't put up much of a fight uh, because I really should have been rolled over pretty easy there. Uh, I was not prepared for war at all. But yeah, pretty interesting mod, um, especially with the tech and all that that happened. It was just uh, sad that I never really got to experience it all because I never really had anyone to to use it on other than the uh, little mechanized walker things I used. Uh, hey, if you enjoyed the video and want to check out the mod, feel free. It is Pax Britannica. Uh, this is the earliest build I think they've even released of it. So yeah, a lot of good stuff to come, I imagine. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below, and I shall catch you all, hopefully somewhere with a lot less... this. <laughs> this. <laughs>